This week we are installing a gray water septic system for our kitchen sink for our little tiny house hyper adobe home. This is going to make sure that none of the food particles and stuff like that get all gunky and nasty and we're going to take you through step by step how we got this project done. So let's get into this build. the neighbor come over and help us out again and very excited so this trench took him like two hours maybe less than that probably with the hole and our previous digging efforts took like all day and backbreaking work so so he dug out our septic slines for this house so we're doing the 55 gallon barrel thing um, this is just for our kitchen sink and yeah, we've got that, and then two barrels, and then a little leech line. The other thing that's nice that I just thought about, this will be our line for our overflow rainwater collection. So eventually, because this whole area is kind of just desolate, I would like to, when we do our big uh, rainwater harvesting basins and stuff, to have the someone put in kind of a little shallow pond area here. So we'll be able to direct the overflow from the house out to here and just kind of spit it out somewhere. So this is why you plan your house before you build it so that way you don't have to dig out under a foundation to put in drain lines. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our shower drain coming out, and this is strictly gray water. So I only use biodegradable soaps, uh, mostly like Dr. Bronner's and stuff. So that means all this water is safe to go out and should be reused. What I have set up here is our pipe going down at its appropriate slope. And then we have the shower basin from our RV that I have all the water pouring into. We're gonna rock this out and make it all nice and pretty and landscaped and stuff. But the nice thing about this is this is gonna be our little wildlife water pond thing. Uh, so like I said the Dr. Bronner's non-toxic soaps and stuff like that going down into our little watering bin. And then we'll rock this out really nice and have a little place for bunny rabbits and stuff like that. Okay, so here's our drain line for the septic system. And this is just gray water septic. This is not black water septic. Just sink, no poop. Uh, so we have our line coming down at that 1 8 inch slope. The issue that I have right now that I'm not looking forward to is our hole is not deep enough at all. Um, so yeah, I know we've got a little bit of gravel backfilled in here. I'm debating just running these on their sides instead of upright. I don't know. I'm going to start digging here and see how it goes. And we really only need one 55 gallon barrel in here. I'm going to have two. So even if I lose some volume, I guess, in this, it shouldn't be that big a deal. You want to help dig? <laughs> nope. All right, we're getting there. I started there this morning, so probably two and a half feet down. This is pretty cool. We just hit a really nice solid clay body. So I'm gonna go get a few buckets and fill up a few buckets for some ceramics later. And hopefully this works, it'd be kind of cool. Okay, so ended up doing it right, not the lazy way. 
but we hit a good clay run here so i was able to get through this last little bit pretty easy easy ish yeah now we're deep enough uh this will come up a bit with some gravel but we'll be able to get probably eight to ten inches of gravel and again i think these are way overkill for how little water we use in there but you can see this is where i started <laughs> so we dug a good four three three feet so that we'll have something nice to rest up against on our hole. So we've got our slope and it drops a little bit, drops a little bit more, and then our trench out here. Those two holes in the top will be for this pipe and that will be our cleanouts. So we're moving right along, got our gravel over here and hopefully getting this pretty close to done today, if not tomorrow, awesome. We're getting close on this. We have a drain line coming in this will fill this tank first, let the water seep out slowly and keep all the gunk behind. Once this is full, overflow into this one. Same thing here. And once this is full, it'll overflow into our leach line. We've got a bunch of gravel down, so that way there's plenty of room for dirt and water to seep out and percolate. Next steps is getting this all sealed up, getting our cleanouts installed, and then finishing this out, backfilling it. So let's get into it. This was something that was pointed out to me that I don't know why it exists. Why is this pipe named Kyle? And why is this pipe named David? Can someone give me an answer to why pipes have names? We are wrapping up this build. I wanna take you guys around and show you what we have done. This is the only evidence of our existing septic tank. These are our clean outs. As I drop a rock into it, that was great, awesome. <laughs> I need to get one more lid for this guy and then we just have a little lid for this guy here. Um, that'll let us vacuum stuff out if these do ever get filled, but I'm not terribly worried about that happening for a very, very long time. We did specifically put um, the septic tank here. We could have put it closer, but didn't want that water near the foundation of the home. And also this tree and this tree and the mesquite tree over there will benefit greatly from all of this water that is coming out hopefully. And within a monsoon season or two, this will all just kind of return back to desert. We are still looking at doing our little pond over here, but we have a lot of work to do before that point. Coming over to this side of things, we have our buried shower drain line and do still need to rock this out and kind of beautify it. But what's exciting is we have our horseshoe pit back. Um, it's starting to kind of look like a yard. I think eventually we'll fence this in to keep all the creatures out. And yeah, this is gonna be really cool with our hot tub. If you haven't seen those videos, be sure to go check them out. Hopefully finishing that up soon. 
getting our rainwater collection uh, repaired here soon. I want to thank you all for watching this episode of the Terraform Homestead. We have videos coming out every week for you guys that are all about off-grid living, sustainable building, and homesteading education work. If you guys want to see more of that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more videos like this and learn a little bit more about this house behind me, I've got two videos queued up for you right now. Go check those out. Go build something cool. Thank you guys for watching.